This is not Nvidia. This is actually Google. And as you can see, the stock price has skyrocketed to all time highs as of the date of this recording. So what on earth happened? Well, Google just held their next cloud event and they've made several game changing announcements. So in this video, we're gonna go over all the highlights of this event. I'm gonna play you condensed clips from the event, then I'm going to explain it in easy to understand terms so that even if you're a non-technical person, you can easily understand what's going on. Let's start with the intro. And we are proud that today more than 60% of funded generative AI startups and nearly 90% of Gen AI unicorns are Google Cloud customers. We also continue to build capable AI models to make products like Search, Maps, and Android radically more helpful. In December, we took our next big step with Gemini, our largest and most capable model yet. We have been bringing it to our products and to enterprises and developers through our APIs. We've already introduced our next generation Gemini 1.5 Pro. It's been in private preview in Vertex AI. 1.5 Pro shows dramatically enhanced performance and includes a breakthrough in long context understanding. That means it can run 1 million tokens of information consistently, opening up new possibilities for enterprises to create, discover, and build using AI. There's also Gemini's multimodal capabilities, which can process audio, video, text, code, and more. With these two advances, enterprises can do things today that just weren't possible with AI before. Today, we're taking Gemini 1.5 Pro into public preview. <laughs> Gemini offers the world's largest context window with support for up to 1 million tokens. With Gemini 1.5 Pro, customers can now process vast amounts of information in a single stream, including one hour of video, 11 hours of audio, code bases, well, well over 30,000 lines of code, and over 700,000 words. We're enhancing Gemini 1.5 Pro with the ability to process audio enabling cross-modality analysis. All right, so one of the biggest announcements is they've unveiled Gemini 1.5 Pro, which is an AI large language model similar to Claude and GPT and Llama. Now, the crazy thing about Gemini 1.5 Pro is that it has a 1 million token context window. Even GPT-4 only has 128,000. Claude 2 has 200,000. And even their newest and biggest model, Claude 3 Opus, only has a context window of 200,000. So with a 1 million context window, it just blows everything else out of proportion. This means it can take in much longer inputs. For example, you can upload an hour of video to Gemini 1.5 Pro, or 11 hours of audio, or over 30,000 lines of code, or over 700,000 words. Now, Gemini Pro is a multimodal model. Multimodal just means it's an AI model that can take in different types of input. So for example, not only can it accept text prompts like ChatGPT, but you can also upload code, upload audio, upload images, or even video. And it knows how to analyze all of these different formats. We are seeing computing demands of large language models grow by up to a factor of 10 times every year. That is why we have designed and built AI Hypercomputer, an orchestra of hardware and software from programming languages to compilers, runtime, serving stacks, to the chips and networks that make it all possible at an unprecedented scale. The system level integration is up to 2x more efficient at scale relative to baseline solutions that simply deliver raw hardware and chips. First, we have the leading portfolio of performance-optimized accelerators, including Google-designed TPUs and NVIDIA GPUs. Today, we're announcing several enhancements to our GPU portfolio, including the upcoming general availability of A3 Mega, powered by NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPUs, with twice the network bandwidth per GPU, 
compared to A3 instances. The rate of progress with NVIDIA GPUs is truly astonishing. Today, we are announcing support for NVIDIA's newest Grace Blackwell generation of GPUs coming to Google Cloud early in 2025. The NVIDIA B200 and GB200 chips are both powered by next generation NVIDIA networking. GB200 will be among the most advanced chips on the planet and will require liquid cooling to operate at peak efficiency. Finally, we're also announcing the general availability of TPU V5P, our most powerful and scalable TPU. Our latest generation TPU pod consists of 8,960 chips interconnected to support the largest scale ML training and serving. Our TPU V5P pods have 4x the compute capacity per pod compared to our previous generation. And with TPU multi-slice technology, you can simultaneously and transparently run across multiple pods for your most demanding workloads. In fact, we train and serve our latest Gemini models on our TPUs. All right, so this guy announces Google's AI hypercomputer. And it's basically a massive computing data center with state-of-the-art hardware for computing and processing. It's one massive supercomputer that's optimized for performance. It contains their new TPU V5P, which has four times the compute capacity and three times more high bandwidth memory than its predecessor, the TPU version 4. Now, TPU stands for Tensor Processing Unit, and you might have heard of CPU or GPU. Well, a Tensor Processing Unit is a processor that is designed for AI and machine learning. In other words, it can do matrix multiplication super fast. And this TPU V5P is designed and built exclusively by Google. So this is like basically the state-of-the-art hardware for enterprise companies to train and deploy AI models. They've also announced this term called the A3 Mega Virtual Machine, which is powered by NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Now, the NVIDIA H100 is the most demanded GPU chip in the tech industry. It was completely sold out in 2023 and into early 2024. You can see the major tech companies have just been stockpiling this thing because they need it for compute. They need a ton of these state-of-the-art chips in order to support all the AI computing and models that they're training. Now, this was state-of-the-art, but that's already old news because NVIDIA recently announced this Blackwell chip, which gives a 30 times better performance than the Hopper chip, which is what powered the H100. And Google just announced that they will be adding this NVIDIA GP200 to their hypercomputer. So you can expect computing to be 30 times more powerful than what it already is. And by the way, if you're interested in learning about NVIDIA's updates in their recent event, I highly recommend this video, which I did three weeks ago. So all in all, in non-technical terms, this AI hypercomputer, just think of it as one supercomputer that's optimized for performance. Enterprise companies can use this hardware to train and deploy their AI models. We're delighted to announce the Google Axion processor. It's our first custom ARM-based CPU designed for the data center and will be available in preview later this year. Google Axion. Google Axion combines Google's expertise with ARM's latest compute core designs to better deliver up to 50% better performance and up to 60% better energy efficiency than comparable current generation x86-based VMs. That's why we've already started deploying at-scale Google services on ARM-based instances, including Spanner, BigQuery, GKE, Google Earth Engine, and the YouTube Ads platform. All right, so Google also announced this new Google Axion processor. This is Google's first custom ARM-based CPU, which I'll define in a second, which is designed for data centers. These are designed to deliver industry-leading performance and energy efficiency. So for example, the person mentioned that these chips offer 50% better performance and up to 60% better energy efficiency 
than current generation x86 based chips. Now, what exactly is an ARM based CPU? These are basically CPUs that have relatively lower costs, low power consumption, and low heat generation. So, ARM processors are generally used for light and portable devices, including smartphones, laptops, and tablets. However, some ARM processors are also used for desktops and servers. Now, let's dive into Vertex AI, our fast growing enterprise AI platform. In our Vertex AI model garden, you can access over 130 models, including the latest versions of Gemini, partner models like Claude from Anthropic, and popular open models, including Llama, Gemma, and Mistral, in a variety of configurations. You choose the best model for your use case, budget, and performance needs, and switch between models as you need. So Google announces Vertex AI, This is basically a machine learning platform that allows you to train and deploy your own custom models, as well as use existing large language models in your applications. So this guy mentioned that they have now expanded the selection of AI models available through Vertex AI's model garden, including their newest Gemini 1.5 Pro, as well as Claude, Mistral, Llama, and other popular LLMs. So in non-technical terms, think of Vertex AI as just an integrated platform with all the machine learning tools that a team needs to train models, deploy AI models, or use existing LLMs for whatever your use case. Team members can collaborate seamlessly all in one integrated platform. Gemini for Google Workspace is our AI-powered agent built right into Gmail, Docs, Sheets, and more. Now today, we have quite a few announcements with Gemini for Workspace. First, many customers have asked for a way to get AI-powered Google Meet and chat company-wide at a lower price, particularly to move away from Zoom. In a recent benchmarking study that tested the top video conferencing applications, Google Meet outperformed Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and WebEx in overall video and audio performance. So we're announcing the AI meetings and messaging add-on with Take Notes for Me, chat summarization, and real-time translation. And it will only cost $10 per user per month. Second, we're making AI-powered data protection available with our brand new AI security add-on. Now, workspace admins can automatically classify and protect sensitive files and data using privacy-preserving AI models trained for their organization. Third, Gemini and Chat can now catch you up on long conversation threads, summarize decisions, and be a real-time creative partner. Let's have product lead for Workspace Collaboration Apps, Christina Baer, give you a quick look at Gemini for Workspace. Thanks, Aparna. There are lots of ways Gemini for Workspace is helping our customers save time. Let me show you the magic of one example in action. I've been asked to evaluate two proposals for a new payroll system. I open up my drive and I see that there are two statements of work here, or SOWs, that outline the vendor proposals. Google Drive is AI ready without any additional pre-work, and everything here is protected with our industry-leading security. All I need to do to get started is drag and drop the two files over into the Gemini side panel, which is currently in preview. In just a few seconds, Gemini for Workspace will give me an outline of these proposals so that I can have a good idea of what they're about. And I could go even further and ask, compare, the, uh, the price, let's see, price of the two offers. Each of these documents is over 70 pages. It would have taken me hours to review these docs, but instead Gemini is gonna help me find a clean answer to save me a ton of time. And as you can see, I have the answer right here in the Gemini side panel. Let's go ahead and dive into one of these proposals. So I'm gonna pick this one. One of the things that you'll notice about Gemini in Docs is that it will proactively show me a summary of this file. 
so that I can get a sense of what's going on without needing to take the time to read the whole thing. But before I proceed with this vendor, I need to ensure that no compliance issues exist. And I'm gonna be honest, I have not memorized every rule in our compliance rule book because it is over 100 pages. I would have to need to scour the 80 pages of this proposal and compare it manually with 100 pages of the rule book. So instead, in the side panel, I ask, does this offer comply whoops, with the following? And I'm going to just at mention our compliance rule book, hit enter, and see what Gemini has to say. OK, so interesting. Gemini has found an issue because the supplier does not list their security certifications. Because Gemini is grounded in my company's data with source citations to specific files, I can trust this response and start to troubleshoot before selecting a vendor. Gemini for Workspace was terrific in this example, saving me a lot of time without compromising on accuracy. And this technology can be applied in so many other use cases. A sales team analyzing RFPs, a recruiter developing interview questions, and so much more. So here she showed how Gemini, which is Google's AI model, will be integrated into Google Workspace for paying customers. So as this person demonstrates, for Google Workspace customers, Google Gemini would be automatically integrated into all Google Workspace applications. So Google Drive is one of them, and you can see here, you can easily access Gemini in the right sidebar. So here you basically chat with this AI and ask it anything about the documents in your Google Drive. Because it has such a huge context window of 1 million tokens, it can analyze and remember pretty much anything that's in your Google Drive. So you can see here she's asking the AI about these two files, which she can just drag and drop into the chatbot. And you can see in Google Docs, which is like Google's version of Microsoft Word, Gemini is also integrated in the right sidebar. It gives you an auto summary of the document. And of course, you can also ask it additional questions about the document in this chat interface. Our biggest announcements today are focused on generative AI. You know, customers have quickly gone from experimenting with generative AI, helping it to answer questions, to make AI predictions, and are now building generative AI agents. Agents process multimodal information simultaneously, conversing, reasoning, learning, and making decisions. Agents can connect with other agents and with humans, and they will transform how each of you interact with computing devices and the web itself. You know, our customers are building early versions of AI agents. Our foundation model, Gemini, which has advanced reasoning skills with multimodal information. We're the only cloud to offer widely used first party, third party, and open source models. Vertex AI to access, tune, augment, and deploy custom models and to build agents. Now, the word agent is being used more and more in the world of AI. Some experts believe that the next big thing will be AI agents. An agent is basically an AI that is designed to do a specific task. And if you give an agent a large task, it knows how to break it down into subtasks and then carry out that workflow in order to achieve your end goal. So many people are doing this. We have, for example, Multion, OS Copilot, Devon, which is an AI designed for coding, Agent GPT, and more. So anyways, here are some demonstrations of various agents that you could build with Google. So I know you all want to hear about awesome AI stuff that's coming, but I need to talk to you for a minute about my annual benefits enrollment. See, I forgot. I have to finish signing up by today. And as you can see, I might be a little bit busy. So if you don't mind, let's go ahead and look at this open enrollment email together. OK, yep, I've got a deadline. I knew that. Thank you. I've got FSA stuff. I've got an online portal for my company, HR Ben. OK, there's a lot here. Uh, ooh, they included a video. Let's see if this makes my life easier. Ah, OK, so it's almost an hour long. Yeah, I'm not going to have time to review all of this stuff. Let's see how this employee agent that we've developed using Google Workspace, Gemini Models, and Vertex AI might be able to help me. As you can see, it's integrated directly into my Google Chat, so I don't have to context switch while I'm figuring all this stuff out. 
First things first, let's have it summarize the email and the video that it sent me. So behind the scenes, the agent is referencing that email body and its attachments as context in the prompt using retrieval augmented generation. That way, its response is limited to the content that matters to me. And I can immediately see that the medical plans have been completely revamped this year. Let's go ahead and jump into the benefits portal to see more. Now, I've already done my dental and my vision, but I procrastinated, I mean saved, the most important plan for last, my medical plan. Let's see how this option stacks against my existing coverage. Compare these coverage options to the PDF doc I have on the Platinum plan. The agent is able to understand the complex details of my current plan and compare it with the new options for 2025. And since the enterprise grounding features links me to the exact data that Gemini used to draw its conclusions, which you can see linked here, I can confidently trust its recommendation that the gold plan is best for me. Just imagine what else an employee agent can help you with. So here was a demo of an employee AI agent. You can see that not only can it summarize the body text of the email, but it can also summarize the attached video. It's able to open the video and I guess watch it and understand the contents of the video to summarize it, which is really impressive. Here you can see it can integrate with your Google Drive and understand all your documents. It can also integrate with Google Maps and Google Reviews in real time. It can also integrate with your Google Calendar for you to book an appointment. So you can see because the whole Google Workspace ecosystem is all interconnected, you have like Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Calendar, Google Maps, Google Reviews, everything is integrated into one ecosystem. You can easily transfer data between different platforms or get Gemini to access data in all your different workspace applications. Let's head over to my favorite store, Symbol Fashion. They just launched a customer agent and it leverages Gemini and Vector Search to deliver a seamless shopping experience. So last night, I was watching a video of this band, and I love the keyboard player shirt. So I was thinking, I'd really like to be wearing that shirt tomorrow night, but can I find it in my size and in time to be rocking it at the concert here in Vegas? Find me a checkered shirt like the keyboard player is wearing. I'd like to see prices, where to buy it, and how soon can I be wearing it. I'm going to include the video. Now, the customer agent is using Gemini's multimodal reasoning to analyze the text and video to identify exactly what I'm looking for. Then, Gemini turns it into a searchable format. How cool is this? It found the checkered shirt I'm looking for, right? And some other great options in no time. Of course, it never fails. They only have three left in my size. I don't want to miss out on wearing this shirt, so I'm going to go ahead, give the store a call, and ask them to set it aside for me. I'm so close to having this shirt for the concert. Let's give the store a call. Hi there. This is the Symbol Fashion Customer Agent at South Las Vegas Boulevard. Am I speaking with Amanda? Yes, this is Amanda. Great. Thanks for reaching out, Amanda. I see you had a session on another device. I've sent you an SMS message with a link to our live chat companion. If you would like to switch to chat, please click the link. How can I help you today? I'd like to purchase the shirt in my cart with the card I have on file. Absolutely. I see you're also a Symbol Fashion Rewards member. Looks like you have a 20% off voucher available to use. Would you like to apply it to this purchase? Yes, please. That would be great. The shirt you're purchasing goes well with these items, also available for pickup in your preferred size. Would any of these be interesting to you? Absolutely. Please add the white shirt and the boots to my cart. Great. Your total is $203.73. Okay to proceed with the cart on file? Yes. Your purchase is confirmed. Do you need anything else today? No, I'm all set. Thank you. So this was showcasing a custom-built customer agent, which this e-commerce company is using on their website. So they use it as a chatbot as well as a customer service representative, which you can call. You can see that in the chatbot, not only can you chat with it using text, but you can also upload audio, upload images, as well as just throw a YouTube link at it, and the 
AI agent would know how to analyze this video and look for the checkered shirt that a person in the video is wearing. This is really impressive. She then called their hotline, which was answered by an AI customer service representative. Not only were they talking in real time, but their chat was transcribed into this thread, which she can see later. The AI detected that this user has a 20% off voucher, and it also suggested other items she might be interested in. This AI knows how to upsell the customer. Now, this might be just a really refined and cherry-picked example by Google, but if all of this is true and everything can be automated, then, well, if you're in customer service, you better start looking for another job very soon. Or if you're another software company that provides customer service applications or chatbots, I would be quite worried if I were you. There's a good chance that Google could take away a lot of your market share. I'm absolutely thrilled to announce our newest workspace app, Google Vids. <laughs> Sitting alongside Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Google Vids is an AI-powered video creation app for work. With Gemini in Vids, you have a video writing, production, and editing assistant all in one. Let me show you how simple it is to get started with Vids. Now, after a full week with all of you here at Next, I'm going to want to share a recap video to share all the excitement with my organization. When I open up Vids, Gemini helps me get started. I simply type in a prompt using an existing document for context. Now, based on that prompt, Gemini suggests a narrative outline for the story that I could easily customize and edit. I choose an expressive style, and Vids works its magic. Let's see what I get. So wow, just like that, I get the first draft with beautifully designed, fully animated scenes, complete with relevant stock media and music, and even a generated script. I'll be able to add fun videos and photos that I captured this week from my media, directly by accessing Google Drive and Google Photos. And even without any video expertise, I can build out scenes like a pro just as easily as I make slides. And because Google Vids is a workspace app, it comes with all of the collaboration capabilities that your teams already know and love. Vids doesn't just help you create videos. It helps you become a better storyteller with a rich new medium at work. All right, so here they introduced a new application in Google Workspace, which already has like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, etc. Here they introduced Google Vids, which is basically an AI-powered video creator. Google Vids is infused with Google Gemini, which is again their AI model, and this can assist the user in developing storyboards, writing scripts, and generating images for the videos. And like other Google Workspace tools, Google Vids allows you to collaborate with colleagues in real time in the browser. There's no need to download any software to your computer. There's no need to email files back and forth. You can just collaborate with your team members in your internet browser. Google Vids provides features such as cut, trim, transition effects, and more to help users edit and personalize their video content. It allows you to select a template and insert audio where you can either record your own audio or add a script and an AI voice will read it out. In other words, it can do text-to-speech. You can, of course, also integrate it with Google Drive and use all the images or assets there in your video. Now, Google Vids is currently in closed testing and will eventually be available to Google Workspace customers. Imagine 2.0, our most advanced text-to-image technology helps businesses create images that match their specific brand requirements. This is now generally available in Vertex AI. Image, imagine strong language comprehension and photorealism capabilities contributed to Google securing the leadership position in the recent Forrester computer vision wave. Second, as a part of Imagine, we're now introducing text to live image in preview today. Marketing and creative teams can generate animated images from a text prompt 
including product images, ads, GIFs, and storyboards. Here's an example of a daylily opening in the morning dew and a pot of something delicious simmering on the stove or an aerial view of a mountain range. Third, we are proud to announce the general availability of digital watermarking for AI-generated images produced by Imagine. It's powered by Google DeepMind's SynthID. Finally, we're announcing new editing modes for Imagine 2.0, which will make it really easy to remove unwanted elements in an image, add new elements, and expand the borders of the image to create a wider view for all of you. When all of these tools come together, it's a powerful combination. All right, so here they talked about Imagen 2.0, which is Google's image generator. It's kind of like Dolly 3 for OpenAI or Stable Diffusion, but Google's image generator is called Imagen. Now, I did a video two months ago when they first announced Imagen 2, and I compared it with Dolly 3 and Stable Diffusion, and I found that the results were pretty awful. They were definitely worse than Stable Diffusion or Dolly 3. However, maybe it has gotten better now? I'm not sure. You can see it's really bad with hands and fingers. Here it's just a jumble of fingers. It's pretty bad. But here they're showing a new feature which is text to live image. This is basically like a short animation instead of just a still image. So that's pretty neat. They've also announced these new editing features where you can remove objects in the image. However, I don't think this is new. I mean, I have a Google Pixel and this was like two years ago and I could easily remove objects using the Google Photos app on the phone. So this doesn't seem to be new. Our Symbol Outfitters product team is working on designing a new tent that we're eager to bring to market. The tent itself is still in development, but we want to get started on a marketing strategy right away. Let's see how the creative agent we developed with Gemini Models, Imagine 2.0's API, and Google Workspace can help. First things first, let's get a look into sense for the look and feel of our brand. What are the key styles and themes of our brand? The creative agent can analyze previous campaigns to understand our unique brand style and apply it to new ideas. In this case, the creative agent has analyzed over 3,000 brand images, descriptions, videos, and documents of other products that we have in our catalog contained within Google Drive to create this summary. And as you can see, it summarized our brand identity as bold, adventurous, and aspirational. This is exactly the look and feel that we're going for. The creative agent was able to use Gemini Pro's 1 million token context window and its ability to reason across text, images, and video to generate this summary. Next, I'm gonna prompt our creative agent using Imagine to dynamically generate amazing new images of our tents in iconic and real outdoor settings. This will help us brainstorm campaign locations. All of this, of course, will match our unique brand style. Now, because I'm a terrible typist, I'm gonna use Chrome's built-in clipboard history. So, we've asked it to create these images. We'll give it just a second. <laughs> Check this out. Machu Picchu, not bad. Half Dome, these are real landmarks accurately presented. Now, let's work on a narrative to really help us land the message. I wanna make special note that in this prompt, I'm going to ask the creative agent to provide captions in both English and Spanish, and that I'm using a multilingual prompt to do so. Awesome. The creative agent leveraged Gemini Pro's multimodal capabilities to brainstorm creative captions that match each photo. These look great too. And thanks to our multilingual capability, we're able to share the same story with our customers in their native language. Moving along, let's ask the agent to combine everything into a storyboard and share it with the team to get some feedback. Generate a storyboard, share it with an email group. The creative agent's gonna move this into slides and share it out with that group. All done, shared with the group. 
They can post comments directly in Google Slides, and we can see them here for the agent to review. We'll speed up time a little bit because it's a demo and take a look at the feedback. Looks great, but there are three requests. First, something for less experienced campers. Second, content for the Symbol Outfitters podcast. And third, something more visually dynamic for social media. Let's start with that new storyboard. We'll use that copy-paste trick again. And you'll see, in this case, we're asking for a new image, new captions, and a new storyboard with that new audience, that relaxed camping audience. Take a look. That looks pretty relaxing to me. Looks pretty good. And there's the storyboard. Great. Just like that, the creative agent modified our ideas for a new audience. It understood our context and made the changes that we asked for. Now, let's generate that podcast. The Gemini model's complex reasoning allows me to generate a script and an audio clip in a single prompt. This much longer prompt highlights our ability to do ordered operations. We're asking the agent to create a podcast script in SSML, or Speech Synthesis Markup Language, and then passing the output to our text-to-speech API. The result will be an episode with two people discussing tense. So we'll see the script here, which we could expand if we wanted, but let's just listen to a little bit of it. Ab, welcome to the show. Thanks, Freya. It's great to be here. I'm always happy to geek out about gear. That sounds really good. And I want you to notice the regionalisms in the speaker's voices. Pretty impressive, but we don't have time to listen to the whole thing because you're here for the keynote. Finally, we were asked for some engaging content for social media. Let's see what the creative agent can do using our new live image generation capability. So we'll ask it, generate some live images of our tent outdoors. For clarity, we've run this prompt before, and so you'll be seeing cache to speed things up. But these are simply beautiful. Creating content like this could take days of weeks, days or weeks of scouting and shooting. But our creative agent used Imagine's new text-to-live image capability to make them in minutes. The creative agent shows how Google's generative AI capability can make producing custom content easy, seamless, and a lot of fun. So this is just showcasing the workflow of a creative AI agent. So you can see you can get it to do a lot of things from writing the script, creating the images, then sending that script to text-to-speech, and then converting that into an audio file for a podcast. You can see it's very flexible, very versatile. You can do so many things and output so many different formats with these AI agents. Now I want to shift and talk to you about code agents. There's so much upside for helping developers and product teams to design, create, and operate applications and to ramp up on new languages and code bases faster. And today, I'm excited to announce two key additions to meet enterprise development needs. First, we're integrating the power of Gemini 1.5 Pro into Gemini Code Assist. This upgrade brings a massive 1 million token context window to coding, which is the largest in the industry. This revolutionizes coding, allowing you to perform large-scale changes across your entire code base. Second, we're announcing Gemini Cloud Assist, which works across your application lifecycle, making it easier to design, operate, troubleshoot, and optimize your application. Now, these solutions work together to help developers and operators be more efficient. Now, please welcome our product manager for Gen AI, Paige Bailey, for our final demo. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brad, and hey there, Las Vegas. <laughs> so let's take a look at what's coming for Code Assist with Gemini 1.5 Pro, leveraging a 1 million token context window. I'm a new developer with Symbol Outfitters, and today we show recommended products to customers only after they've made an initial selection. These suggestions are powered by our custom-built recommendation service based on previous purchases. But now, the marketing department has asked me to move this feature to our homepage 
so that customers can see products that they might be interested in as soon as they get to our site. Our design department has created a mock-up of what they would want this experience to look like in Figma. And for the developers out there, you know that this means we're going to need to add padding in the home page, modify some views, make sure that the configs are changed for our microservices. And typically, it would take me a week or two to even just get familiarized with our company's code base, which has over 100,000 lines of code across 11 services. But now, with Gemini Code Assist, as a new engineer on the team, I can be more productive than ever and can accomplish all of this work in just a matter of minutes. This is because Gemini's code transformations with full code base awareness allows us to easily reason through our entire code base. And in comparison, other models out there can't handle anything beyond 12 to 15,000 lines of code. And even then, they struggle to get it right. Gemini inside of Code Assist is so intelligent that we can just give it our business requirements, including the visual design. So let's ask. Here I am prompting Gemini to add a For You recommendation section on the homepage, along with an image of the future state to show the improved design. Almost immediately, Gemini Code Assist starts by reasoning about the code changes that it needs to make and has insights an experienced teammate would have. For example, because we asked Gemini Code Assist to change the recommendation service, it was able to find the recommendation function and extract out the exact details needed to make the call to the recommendation service. It highlights the files needing to be changed and reveals the reasoning behind its recommendations using our own code base for context. Gemini Code Assist doesn't just suggest code edits. It provides clear recommendations and makes sure that all of these recommendations are aligned with Symbol Outfitter's security and compliance requirements. In Code Assist, we've also added an option to apply the edit, which keeps me as the developer in the driver's seat. So let's take a look at the source code changes that Gemini Code Assist has made in our code base. It looks like we have multiple edits across two files, handlers.go and also home.html. Gemini Code Assist even applied these changes to the full repository. And to put this in context, no pun intended, it would have taken me over 70 hours nonstop to even just read through all of these files. And just like I would with any code change, my next step is to check the workout by testing out the modified app locally. So let's try it. And there we go. The For You recommendation section is exactly what our marketing team was asking for. And as a new developer, I was able to make a meaningful contribution on my very first day. Here they showcase the Gemini Code Assistant. This is Google's AI assistant to help developers write code faster and build applications faster. It's like a chatbot, but for developers. And right now they've announced that it will use Gemini 1.5 Pro, which again has the huge 1 million token context window, the largest out of all other AI coding assistants, such as GitHub Copilot. This means that it can easily read through and remember your entire code base. This is a huge, huge benefit. Like if you've been using some other coding assistants before, I think one of the most common problems is it's not looking at your entire code base. And then so there's a lot of minor errors or things that you have to tweak in order to get its output to work. But here, because of its 1 million token context window, it can easily remember everything and hopefully output suggestions that are more accurate and less error prone. Our open platform offers choice at every layer, including chips for training and serving, your choice of models, your choice of development environments, databases, including vector databases, and your choice of business applications. We're at a pivotal moment in our industry. Together, we're creating a new era of generative AI agents built on a new 
truly open platform for AI. And we're reinventing infrastructure to support it. Thank you for joining us for Cloud Next. Together, we're building the new way to cloud. Have an amazing event. So that concludes the announcements from Google at their Cloud Next event. You can see they're building an entire ecosystem for enterprise companies to use AI. They have this hypercomputer with state-of-the-art processing units for companies to train and deploy their own AI models. They also have Vertex AI, which is an integrated platform where companies can use existing LLMs and integrate it with their applications. They provide a ton of AI agents for specific use cases. For example, customer agents, which would help in customer service. Plus, there's going to be a lot of AI-powered features built into Google Workspace. This includes having Gemini 1.5 Pro completely integrated into Workspace applications, so you can just chat with the AI to help automate your workflow. So that sums up all the highlights in this NextCloud event. Let me know in the comments what you think of all of this. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, we built a site where you can find AI tools and look for jobs in AI machine learning and data science. Check that out at ai-search.io. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.